welcome. Thanks for joining us. MLB The Show brings you the National League Championship Series. It's the Los Angeles Dodgers and the San Diego Padres. Along with Chris Singleton, I'm John Chomby. Plenty of storylines taking shape in this series as we set the stage for game four, Chris. Well, the number one thing to discuss is just how lopsided this series has been. You know, you get to this point of the season, Bogan, you expect both teams to be on pretty even ground, but it's not played out that way at all. And when a team takes care of business with such dominance and gets out to a 3-0 lead, I just can't see this series lasting much longer. Yeah, that's usually the way it goes, but hey, Coming back to win the series has been done before. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. Just about set to go now. Starting on the mound in this one, Gerald Hayden. Fresh off a perfect game, he's got to be riding high into this one. Boog, it was so amazing to watch him go out there in the ninth inning and complete that start. What an outstanding day for him. See how he backs it up today. He's got incredible stuff. Off I wonder if he's going to gonna be fresh. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Mookie Betts. Yeah. The wind and the pitch. Fastball for a strike. And that's how game four gets underway. And that's outside. Ball one. a strikeout. And now it's Gavin Lux. Gavin Lux. That one a triple digits. Hayden, the MVP last year, he features a four-seam fastball, a slider, a cutter, a splitter, and he works in a changeup. Kicks and fires. Just misses with that one. It's a good take. One, two. The punch out there. That's the second out. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning. Got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with a number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two- or three-run homer. Freddie Freeman in the box now. No balls and a strike. He's a bad ball hitter, so even if you get him to chase pitches outside the zone, he still might beat you. Not an easy out by any means. Swing and a miss as he was late. Bringing the no cheese ball. on that one. Two outs. Spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. Two down, nobody on. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0 and 2. And he deals. Gets a piece, and it stays 0 and 2.
And the pitch. Got it. Strikes out the side to begin the game. What a start. Dodgers scoreless. Padres coming up to hit. You're watching the National League Championship Series on the show. Next for the Padres, Gerald Heap. He has, as they like to say, let me guess, Boo, light tower power. That's right. That one is absolutely belted. Looks like extra bases. One runs in. Now the throw comes in. Runner holds it third. Well done. Drives in the run. Against good pitchers, you've got to take advantage of the mistakes. That was right in his wheelhouse, and he didn't miss a stitch. Here's Manny Machado now. You have to be careful throwing and breaking pitches, even in an 0-0 count. He loves going after the off-speed stuff, and he's really good at hitting it. Glass now, ready to deals. Runs it up to 96 to record the punch out. Man, I really like the ability to bounce back Matty, right there yeah. after not getting a call. He probably should have gotten. He didn't let it affect his focus, and he came back with another good pitch to get him swinging. 2-2 Two -two now. Cracks his bat and pops him off. He never gets off the throw. Everyone's safe, and a run comes in to score. Hello. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. That pitch got way in on him, and he that couldn't do good. much with it, but no good hustle to get up the line and turn that into an infield single. Junior. And that one is lifted in the air. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's two down. Batting seven. The first baseman. Jake. Now here's Jake Cronenworth. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has got him. They limit the damage here. But two runs for him, and they jump ahead. We'll move to the second now at Petco Park. It's the Padres two, and the Dodgers nothing. All set for the start of the inning. Shohei Otani up to the dish. The designated hitter. In the postseason, you see just how important every last play can be. You never know what's going to make the difference in the end. And a pitch. Uh, like you said, Boog, every play is so pivotal at this point of the year. As a player, you've got to be locked in. Can't make a mistake that could cost your team the season. Righty delivers. Then he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Next one misses. And a count one and two. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. And here it comes. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner when with two strikes you just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error, but some way you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. Here's Max Muncie, that funky Muncie. Foul ball. Hayden. He gets a lot of swing and miss, and he keeps the ball in the yard. Not to mention the fact not too many hits either. The Dodgers trailing by two here in game four of the National League Championship Series. Swings and misses. And the count is 0-2. Even some of the best guys in the sport are going to give up home runs from time to time, and he's an exception. Yeah, and even with those home runs, if you're throwing strikes and keeping base runners off the paths, then those home runs are solo shots. But to this point, he hasn't had to worry about it. Oh. 
Swings and misses. Struck him out. Well, that's the effect of the splitter that you're looking for on the mound. Really nice pitch right there and had him out in front over the top. I'm sure the batter was thinking he was getting something else. Perhaps a fastball with a little more straight and velo to it. Now a chance for James Outman. And a foul ball. Two outs. Stays alive. And they'll do it again. The Padres leading by two here in game four. Two down, nobody on. Got it by him for the K. Offense held a check there. We go to the bottom of inning number two. It's the Padres two and the Dodgers nothing. Back here at Petco Park, the batter now will be Will Smith. Will Smith. The pitch. And a strike right through there. That one in triple digits. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, he's gotten ahead with two pitches down in the zone. He has plenty of options right here. He can go up, he can go away, he can add velocity, he can subtract. Strikes he goes, picks up strikeout number seven. Just absolutely rolling on the mound. He's looking very much on his game in the early parts of this one, Boog. Fully on the attack with these hitters. That's seven strikeouts already, so he's got a good pace going, no doubt. And now Teoscar Hernandez. There's a strike. No ball. One strike. The Dodgers down by a pair. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Strike two. Oh, two. Here comes a pitch. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Really great change of speeds. He goes off the off speed to the fastball, and the hitter doesn't know what's coming next. The wind of the pitch. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. One down, base is empty. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Frustrating end to the at bat for the hitter, and I'm sure that's going to sit on him for a little while. You want to be ready to hit the fastball. Sometimes you can overthink things, and I think that was the case right there. Here comes Chris Taylor. That one finds the zone, and it's 0 and 1. The wind of the pitch. 
And it's fouled away. Two outs, bases empty. Two outs. Foul ball still 0 and 2. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Two down, nobody on. Right oh, through there, oh. got him. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Dodgers go down quietly, and they're down two nothing. So, here's an interesting note on Glasgow. He's been known to look at photos of people he doesn't like before his starts. It's a way for him to kind of get angry, and then he carries that anger out to the mound to help him pitch. It sounds like a good strategy to me, but I wonder who he's looking at. <laughs> Up and in, and it's one to know. One out, base is empty. <laughs> On the ground to third. Throws the first in time. Fourth game of the NLCS. Now it's the Dodger leadoff hitter, Mookie Betts. Well, you always have to be careful in these spots because Mookie is lethal in the leadoff spot. He has the most multi-home run games out of the leadoff spot in baseball history. You know, these Dodgers, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. They're chasing a lot of pitches outside the zone, and those chases that are turning into a bunch of outs. Can they turn that around and stay within the zone? We'll see, but I think they have to. Swing and a miss struck him out. Now at 10 K's with still a few innings left so expect him to add on to that total and you know pitchers are looking to have a strikeout per inning I mean that's excellent work uh, the way it looks now I mean he's going to have a better rate than that in this one so really good stuff working on the mound in this one. Now it's the second baseman Gavin Lux caught looking his first time up. There's the strike. And that's in for a strike. Pretty rare location oh, right there, right strike. down the middle. This guy paints the edges. I'm not sure if you're going to see that pitch again as a hitter. Got him swinging. Oh, oh there's a three-pitch strikeout. He can do whatever he wants with the baseball right now. Two outs, base is empty. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. Inside corner, and that's called a strike. Oh, wow. Hey, seven straight strikes to start the frame. He's got a chance at an immaculate inning. The Dodgers trailing by two, top half of inning number four. That one down the line, oh. and he picks it up, and he'll put it in his pocket. Two outs. Got him! And how about that? 
It's an immaculate inning. Well, he's saying who needs the defense? An immaculate inning. Three strikeouts, nine pitches. We just witnessed something really special. New inning getting started. Here's Shohei Otani. He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball, football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports, too. To third, Machado. On the run, throw to first, and they get Otani for the out. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air, lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Here comes Max Muncy. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. Got it started a little too early. Strike one. This is the time you have to pull out every trick in your bag. They know the season is over with the loss. Things aren't looking great right now, but they're still in striking distance. They need to get something going real soon. Down the left field line. Looks like extra bases. Now he'll turn for second. And it's a double. Their first hit in this one. Well, maybe that will end up getting him going. Yeah, he really simplified there, kept his shoulders square yeah. to the plate and wasn't trying to oh, overswing. I think that's the key for him to have success through the rest of this series. And here is James Outman. First pitch swinging. Man, it's second. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Well, you can't expect to get a great pitch to hit with an open base and a runner on second. He's going to have to really tighten up his sights here, make sure that he can barrel up the ball. He goes down looking. Well, he went up there trying to be aggressive, that's for sure, hacking at those first two pitches, but clearly that last one fooled him. He could have been sitting on something else entirely, but you want to be able to adjust on 0-2 and, and at least get a swing off when it's in the zone. Maybe choke up, maybe spread out your stance a little bit. you got to give the guy credit on the mound, though. He went right after him. And up to the plate is Will Smith. Clips the corner, going around. The Dodgers down by a pair, and we're at the top of the fifth. And that one a little below the knees. Now one and two. Man on second, two down. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Two outs. And a swing and a miss. And that is that. Another inning in the books, but the perfect game couldn't survive it. It's the Padres two and the Dodgers nothing. here in San Diego at the play. Teoscar Hernandez. Teoscar Hernandez. He back to work. Ripped on the ground a second. Throws to first in time. And Hernandez is out. Fastball grew right down the middle. Usually a lot of damage done with that pitch. A hard grounder, but he wanted to get that ball in the air, maybe drive it into the gap. Here comes Chris Taylor. His first at bat was a strikeout. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. That one misses. 1-0. One one and oh. Taylor, a middle infielder by trade, played his college baseball at the University of Virginia. Close, but called a ball. 
And now 2-0. Well, usually a high level of confidence when you're facing a young pitcher out there on the mound. In this situation, ahead 2-0. He's put himself in a really good spot. And the right-hander deals. Check swing. No appeal. And now three balls and a strike. Good job to fight that one off. Well, he's having a tough time getting a pitch by him as a hitter. You feel pretty confident that you're seeing different pitches still able to make some type of contact. Goes down looking. Really good battle right there. And that final pitch probably could have gone either way. He was hoping he'd get ball four. Instead, the umpire rings him up for the backwards K. to the top of the lineup. Now it's Mookie Betts. Who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. There's the strike. The Padres up by 2. And we're the top half of the 6th. Comes up empty. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Swings, threw it in, that's a strikeout. Nothing doing for the Dodgers here. They trail it here, 2-0. And we're back. Leading Here's a big power threat. Gerald Hayden. The designated hitter. Gerald Hayden. And a pitch. And there's a hit. And the postseason success continues for him. Well, Singy, he is locked in there. Well, he's really slowed the game down, and it's like he's moving in full speed, and everybody is a step or two behind. The way that he squared up that baseball tells me that he is seeing it like a beach ball. Kicks and deals. Hit weakly on the ground. Muncy goes to second for one. On to Freddie. Double play. As a former player, watching 5-4-3 double plays brings back some adrenaline. It's such an exciting play, and it's always a great reminder of baseball being such a team sport. We go to the top of the seventh, and at the plate for the Dodgers, Gavin Lux. The second baseman, Gavin Lux. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. Ground ball right side. Cronenworth Out. takes it to the bag. And the leadoff hitter set down to open the seven. The first base is number five, Freddie Freeman. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. Went down looking on three pitches last time. Let's see if he can be a little more aggressive right here. In there for a strike at the bottom of the zone. You can tell by their swings. This lineup is having trouble gauging speeds. Timing is everything in hitting, and right now they just don't have it. One down, base is empty. And a foul ball. This pitcher's done a good job of disrupting the hitter's timing with the mix of pitches and changing speeds. You want to keep that front foot inconsistent for the batter. Their swings are hesitant, and that's exactly what you want on the mound. Bogarts with the throw to first. And a couple of quick outs. Now batter, the designated hitter, Joe Hay. And next for L.A., Shohei Otani. Great speed and great power. 
a great athlete quite simply. That Good one's back. in there. Four to one. When you have a real athletic player and who's able to do the baseball mechanical things really well, look out because the sky's the limit on that potential. The Padres holding on to a two-run lead late here in game four. And it's a three up, three down inning. Dodgers down in order. They're still down. It's two zip. So two away with nobody on. Gerald Hayden, the next up for the Padres. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Well, that'll make you feel good as a hitter the right there. Base, Everyone's trying 13. to elevate the ball in today's game, hey. but if you can hit a ball that hard on the ground, it's going to find some holes. And now it's Manny Machado. Here's the pitch. Runner goes. Line drive. Taylor settles under it and makes the catch. And that is that. Four runs in the inning on three hits, including the home run. No errors and one left on. Eighth inning coming up. It's the Padres six and the Dodgers nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark. We're at the top of the eighth, down the third baseman, Max Muncy. Garrett Richards, a guy who was originally a first round pick of the Angels out of the University of Oklahoma. Swinging a foul over the screen and back out of play. You know, these Dodgers being a little too patient at the plate in this game. I'm surprised with all the strikeouts looking we've seen from them. Sometimes you get fooled up there, but it's just happening too often right now. Up the middle, Kim. In plenty of time to first, one up, one down. I mean, they're getting hittable pitches. That's why they're called strikes. But going back Up to the dugout, knowing you could have done something with what you got is frustrating for hitters. Oh, James Outman steps to the plate for the Dodgers. On the ground right side. He handles it himself. Two up, two down. Now batting. Petra will... Two outs, base is empty. And up next for Los Angeles, Will Smith. Fastball in for a strike. It's 0-1. Now this guy is just filling up the strike zone right now. Don't want to get yourself in an 0-2 hole. You better be ready to pull the trigger on the first pitch. Next offering is in for a strike. This guy's pounding the zone. Hitters don't have time to think in between pitches. The 0-2. Fights it off, you'll see another. Come on, Come on. Two down, nobody on. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. This guy's a fun guy to watch taking it bad. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult on the pitchers out there. You can tell they get frustrated with how long it takes to put him away. Two outs. And he chases that one. He battled for a long time, but it finishes with a strikeout. You can't be mad at yourself after an at-bat like that one. Totally dominant on the mound as he's through eight without surrendering a run. It's the Padres six and the Dodgers nothing. 
back here at Petco Park. All set to start the ninth in this one. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. The right-hander back to work. That one finds the zone. That's strike one. Well, he's back out there to pitch the ninth and about to throw his 100th pitch. Man, this is exciting. I hope they let him finish this one. That misses, and it's one and one. The pitch. Swings and misses, struck him out. Well, that's the money maker right there. Two strikes, slider like down and away from the same side thrower as the hitter. I mean, that's just tough. You're looking to protect with two strikes and very difficult to lay off. Taylor in the box again, takes a strike. One down, base is empty. A little out front there as he swings through it. Man, 91 on the slider right there. That's a hard one. That's a low end fastball for some pitchers. And a pitch. Gets a piece and it stays 0 and 2. Right hander kicks deals. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. The Dodgers with a lot of ground to make up here at the top of the night. Bows that off to the left, and we'll do it again. The pitch. And ball one. One ball, two strikes. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the AB going. A wide to kick the pitch. Switch through that one. It's a strikeout. So last chance for the Dodgers. And now the shortstop, Mookie Betts. 0 for 3 with three strikeouts. There's a strike to Mookie. No ball. One strike. Swings and misses. 0 and 2. It's had a tough day at the plate. Three strikeouts already. It's hard not to think negative, but you got to find a way to somehow center up the baseball and put it in play. One strike away. And the San Diego Padres are National League champs. They're headed to the World Series. Congratulations to the National League champions. This team clearly excited, and they deserve every bit of this moment. Enjoy it now, but get yourselves ready for the biggest series of your lives. For my partner, Chris Singleton, and our great crew, thanks for watching the National League Championship Series on MLB The Show.